Hey guys, Mupasega here. Uh, at the end of the last video, we finished loading the, the hub costs in. So in other words, the, the tech one elements for our ships, we loaded them in. Uh, and the next, so that was the Rens prep, we called it. The next step is actually going to be using or explaining very briefly. This is not going to be a tutorial video or anything. This, this is, is just um, a quick little overview. Um, the production sheet. So this is where we keep track of the jobs that we've planned for, where they are at, what the final cost is on those, and um, making sure, like there's a whole back end here that, that I'll quickly briefly show you uh, that explains how we're keeping track of our inventory as well. This is not just about finding out the prices, this is finding out how much stock we have once we have made this thing and this thing and this thing do we have enough stock to make this other thing right uh, and all the while hopefully giving ourselves some visual cues on where the system is at okay so we copied these jobs in we pretended that i went and picked up the tech one elements from Rens. okay they've all arrived i jumped them one jump across and and, and we all arrived safely <laughs> Hooray, uh, there was no burn wrens today, which is a shame. I'm sure that I'm sure that one day we will get a burn wrens, right? Um, once we start these jobs, okay, so I would I would have these ready to go. We would make sure that everything is in the correct the correct spot. Um, actually, well, I'll quickly jump next door and um, while we're talking here. Um, while we're talking, I might, I might, while I'm autopiloting or whatever I'm doing there, I'll show you the back end here. Okay, so now I know what I'm going to be building in the Tech 2 space. I, 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 this is not the kind of system that you can just rock up willy-nilly, do whatever you want. Um, there are limitations. There are limitations on my design. There are limitations on Excel. Um but mainly my design that's that's mainly where the the limitations are but it's those constraints that that make it uh easy easy to kind of direct my energies right um so how this back end works if we're follow if we follow just one row here we got crusaders we're doing five of them zero material efficiency that's the blueprint cost per that's the hub costs for all the executioners and then we come across here and we're in the territory that is the structure. So what structure will we be doing it in? What are the material efficiency um, uh, elements there that we need to account for? Otherwise, otherwise, we would be, you can imagine if we are making things for zero uh, structure material efficiency, like if we were doing them in an NPC station or something, we would ultimately we would ultimately be like, where, where, I should have more, I should have more stock than this. Um, because you do have to account for all these extra little efficiencies. Now there's, I'm not getting into, I'm not getting into the material efficiency formula. Um, there are plenty of ways of finding that out. Here's our manufacturing cost. This is, this is going to give us information as per the system cost index. Uh, code help. This is this is just don't worry about code help this is all this is is the unique identifier number so s2422 every single job that i do i give a unique identifier so that i can keep track of uh in the long term uh now if you've seen the warehouse tracker thing you will know what the tracker column does depending on what step of production we are in the tracker will change so let's say that it's here the tracker, this tracker is now in step two. Once it's completely finished, is it is in step three. Uh, this is kind of just an index of sorts so that I can, rather than looking for a whole bunch of conditions, I'm just looking for one condition. What what um, step in the process is this job at? Is it started? Is it finished? Have I logged it? Is it there? Is it started? Is it finished? Am I, have I logged it kind of thing? Um. So that's what that does. I 
I manufacture an iChoose U, by the way, uh, for reasons. Uh, I I had Raitaru's. I couldn't defend them, so I decided against that in the end. Um, so we have the type ID here. So this is the type ID of the product that we're making, which in this instance would be Crusaders. Actually, here would be Crusaders. The blueprint ID is the type ID of the blueprint that is used to make the ship, right? And it's the blueprint ID, when we look up that in other places, we find out exactly what goes into it, right? So now I know what these, I know what these kind of correspond to here, but um, just trust me, like this is a list of all the component IDs across the top. So when we're building in a Mars ship, you can imagine that there would be fusion thrusters, uh, nano electrical microprocessors, uh, tungsten carbide armor plate. So I, uh, my guess is that this 2228 would be tungsten carbide armor plate. And what this is saying that a Crusader with requires 223 of these, 149 of these, 594 of these, 228 of these, 25 of them, 372 of them, 114 of them. Yeah. So that is exactly what would be required. Um, to make some Crusaders, right? Now, if I, as an example, let's let's grab one of these blueprints of the Crusaders. What was it? Three material efficiency? What was it? Um, what ME will we be running it at? Ooh. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, zero material efficiency. So let's find the one that has zero material. Well, let's just put that down to zero. And how many were we making? Five... And there's the numbers, that's where they correspond. So 223, 372. Uh, there's our 223, there's our 372. Uh, this 2228, that'll be plates. There's there's the number 2228. Oh dear, um, let's go back. Uh, so yeah, there's there's the plates. Uh, there's the fusion thrusters, 25. 25, yeah. So that is all how the back end works. This is just so that we can keep track of everything that we're building, exactly what is leaving our system, exactly what is coming into our system. Yeah, and that's how we get exact numbers. So um, there's actually, like, you, like you, don't, you don't need to do this. You don't need to keep track of every single little thing. There are plenty of systems and plenty, plenty, awesome industrialists, whether using spreadsheets or not, that have their own systems. You don't need to do all this stuff, so don't worry about that. Um, so, the, the let's come back to the tooling side of things. We're in the production ships, we've seen the back end. What actually happens here is that we've, we're saying, okay, we've turned up, I start the Crusader, I, I press start, I say finish. And then it gives me all the particulars about that job. It says that on the 3rd of the 8th, 2021, here's the job ID. We made five Crusaders. Each one cost me 19 million to make. Uh, the total cost of that job was 101 million, right? So once once that has happened, we grab this. We would copy that and I would go and paste it in my log over, over here or something, yeah? Now, once it is pasted in the log, I would grab that value and I would say, okay, well, this is this is now, this job is done. I don't want to formulate numbers anymore. That is the price of it. Let's lock that in. So I copy it back here as values. So it stops calculating things uh, over and over and over. Now that is not what I want to do because none of these jobs actually happen. This is all pretend. So let's let's go back to that. But you you can imagine then how that would work, right? So I could say, well, Okay, these jobs have, have started. That's all I could do for that day. Uh, so where do I need to pick up? Okay, the next time I come back, okay, I need to do stilettos. We started stilettos. We started wolves. Blah, blah, blah. And what else might have happened is that, oh, the hawks got finished. So let's sign off on the hawks. The hawks are done. Um, let's log the hawks. Like, let's move the hawks and let's sell the hawks. All right, so that is the next That is the next tool that we've we've had a chance to look at here today. Um, I'm wondering what the next one would be because here we've followed here we've followed the the production chain when it comes to to tech to ships, but 
Tech 3 would would kind of be the same. Tech 3 would be the same. Go and check this out in the earlier videos, but rather than doing this, I would say, rather than going by Tech 2, I would say, well, let's look for Tech 3. Let's look for Destroyers. Uh, what do I need to build? I need to build Confessors, Jackdaws, Hecates. I would grab them. I would paste them over there. Now, the difference with Tech 3 is that there is no, there is no Tech 1 element, right? So... Once I had once I had pasted them in and gotten this information, I would come bring it across or paste it in there. But I would actually have a zero value in the hub cost because there is no tech one element that goes into that tech three. The a lot uh, a lot of the cost would would kind of be um, in the in the blueprint side of things, which is how we got the relics. So I'm gonna leave it there for for today and probably for this for this tool I will be back and I'm thinking that maybe the next time that we look at uh, we look at tools we might we might follow another path let's follow maybe the invention path and see what that looks like and um, we'll, we'll, there's a whole bunch of tools here as well that like we've got a whole bunch of stuff to get through <laughs> a whole bunch of little a little doodads that will help us um that might um give you more information information on on how this all comes together and how this all works so i shall catch you in the next video thank you